On this video, we're going to see one common error for aging connectivity and how to troubleshoot. Connection timeout. Error is similar to connection refuse, and we need to check similar things in order to fix. This error could appear while doing live browsing on a server, agent info, or on logs while running a job on a target server, and could be caused by different network or firewall issues, and there are different things to verify in order to fix. First thing to check is if agent is running and port is listening. To check if agent is running, you can always verify if it is writing to the rscd.log. To verify if port is listening, you can run netstat command on Windows or Linux. This will tell you if the port is listening on the server or not. The default port for rscd agent is 4750 but it can be changed on the secure file from target and NSH proxy or application server. The RSCD line is for incoming connections, meaning the RSCD agent. The default line is for outgoing connections, meaning the NSH proxy or application server. This two needs to match in order to communicate correctly. Once you verify that everything is fine on target server, you'll need to make sure that server is able to communicate with target on this port. In order to do so, you can use Telnet to communicate to target using port selected on secure file. On a screen, you can see a working and a not working Telnet example. If the target is actually the file server and only happens intermittently, the issue is likely that the file server is being overloaded with too many parallel requests from the application server. Short term could be to consider lowering the parallelism of the jobs and avoid using unlimited. Longer term is to change file server setup. Instead of having a single file server host, use a shared network storage. If the target is actually a regular managed server in server automation and happen intermittently, consider increasing the value of the timeout setting to the default entry on the app server secure file so that more time is allowed to connect to remote slow agents. The default is 30 seconds. For more information on this issue, Please check the agent troubleshooting guide from Docs.